we got a Timmy's gift card for Christmas, so I'll probably have a few other videos starting off with coffee again. But yo, what is going on, you guys? TL13 here, aka the Lucky 13 or Brain 13 from Rain Gaming, bringing you guys some more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 content. And in today's video, guys, we are going to talk about the most rage inducing challenge in this game. So, for those of you guys that do not know, there is a challenge in this game called 100 Percenter, as I'm sure there are in multiple Call of Duties, but you get this title. It is gorgeous, and you guys will see it as soon as you go to challenges at the very top, so you guys can see it. And pretty much what it is, unlock every single challenge. So currently at the time of recording this, it is the 28th of December 2018. It is 11 a.m., and I am at 80% complete of one of the 100%er challenges, and I'm going to go for more. The double XP weekend starts in about two hours at the time of recording. At the time of posting this, after it's all edited, I will have it all uploaded and everything. And in this gameplay, you're going to see me get the most rage-inducing challenge. Now, what is the most rage inducing challenge you may be wondering? Well, I am really mad you asked because I actually hate it so much I hate thinking about it, but it is called Knuckle Sandwich. It is under the Tour of Duty in Career Challenges, and what it is is get 25 kills in hardcore using only your fists. Now, I'll be honest, this is not the hardest challenge to complete. I just did one uh, special mention to the Hail Mary challenge where you have to get a long distance tomahawk kill, throwing axe, whatever they're called nowadays. And honestly, I'll be real with y'all, it took me like it was midnight last night, and I'm like, all right, I gotta get this challenge, or it might have even been 11. It, it was 11 or midnight, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get this challenge done. Uh, we'll just hope someone's AFK or something, get a throw, throwing knife to axe long distance. It's all Gucci, and then it, it, 2 a.m., I still didn't have it. Almost 3 a.m., still didn't have it, and I'm like, I'm going to bed. And then this morning, I got it in like an hour, and it was like... I didn't even mean, I didn't think it would be long distance, and I got it, so I was happy. Anyways, knuckle sandwich. 25 kills in hardcore using your fists and there's another challenge in a different section where you have to get 50 kills with your fists And it's not really the easiest thing to do outside of hardcore either like you need to punch them multiple times It does less damage than if you hit them with your gun So it doesn't really make sense anyways pretty much just using your fists is not gonna cut it for like anything So you do it in hardcore That's why you guys will see me unlock the knuckle sandwich challenge in this game But then you'll also see me continue to go for fist kills because I knew I still had to get 50 in total for the other one which I got up to like 46 in this game, so I almost finished that, and then I finished it that night. That was last night. But yeah, I was just raging. It's not that difficult, but I was playing hardcore free-for-all. Maybe it's better in like hardcore TDM or something, hardcore domination, maybe if you get up behind a bunch of people, but I mean, the only way you're doing this is if they don't hit you with a single bullet, because a single bullet will pretty much kill you. And I was running acoustic sensor this whole time when I could have been running literally anything else and it would have been a better choice. And then depending who you want to use for specialist, now you can use a uh, nine bang or a, uh, what I'm using in this game, Seeker Shock Mine. At first I was using sensor dart because it's hardcore and they're helpful, but like, it wasn't that helpful for Knuckle Sandwich. Like, it was just not fun. And I was gonna do this video as a live commentary, but I'm like, you know, all it's gonna be is me yelling and swearing because I was just like, every kill, I just would like, I'd die like five times in a row and then it's free for all, so you spawn, die. And I'll be honest with y'all, my ratio right now in this game is 2.06. Uh, it went down a lot when I was doing Dark Matter, and then it went back up to 2.07, and now it's struggling again because I'm going for all these stupid challenges with these bad weapons. And like, my average game punching was like 5 and 20. The game you're watching is exceptional. I don't know what happened in this, and you also see me get a few Tempest kills just because I'm using Profit, so why not? But it's bad. If you guys are doing this challenge, you guys need to literally prepare yourself to just do badly because it's not the hardest thing in the world. You're going to get kills every game. And you know, even if it takes you 20 games, you get one, two kills every game. It's fine. You're going to get them. But it's like the most rage inducing thing when you're used to like dropping bombs, dropping streaks and stuff. And now you're just like, run, 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 they looked at me and now I'm dead because it takes them one bullet and it takes you one punch and you have to be right there. The only thing I can even suggest for this is I played Hardcore Free For All and I think Hardcore Free For All was a good choice. Using Seeker Shockman I think was also a good choice. And then making your class just run a bunch of perks. Don't run the acoustic sensor like I did. I don't know why I was doing it. Run stim shot, maybe, but probably just run body armor. Just so that sometimes you get like that extra one hit that it takes them and maybe that'll give you the kill. And then you run six perks. Like it's just insane. So run like lightweight tracker I was using. So you guys see that. And then I was using like probably engineer. No, I think I was using flag jacket and tack mask. And then I was running like, you guys know, like it's just, you run six perks. It's that simple. The main things to know are run dead silence so they don't hear you running up behind them because you're loud and run lightweight dexterity because 
that just helps you get from point A to point B faster. And don't bring any weapon. You don't need it. Just, just go straight for the punching kills. It is really hard to give like advice for this kind of thing because I didn't really try out that much. I really just tried hardcore free for all and that did work for me in the end. It didn't take me too, too many games. You guys see, I think I almost go positive in this game. Maybe I even did go positive. Odds are I really did not. Do not assume I went positive. I don't think I did but I didn't do that bad. And then in my last game punching, granted I got like four kills punching and then I got to use normal weapons, but I almost won that free for all. So punching is not the worst thing all the time. If you guys are doing this, please take it slow. I am like the worst person when it comes to this and it messed me up during the, uh, the combat knife getting gold dark matter and stuff because I would chase people and chase kills and stuff and I'm trying to get bloodthirsties and I'm chasing kills. And honestly, you just need to sit in the corner sit in a corner and wait and sometimes you'll still die and, and and that just frustrates me like you guys see me chase people in this way way more than i probably should i should just be you know staying still sitting in a corner and that's what i recommend if you guys are actually going for this don't chase people because they're gonna kill you you don't have any advantage over them and like even if they don't see you you're probably still dead you guys will see me die so many times in this and like I have the audio muted because it had my actual audio, like me talking, and it was literally just me yelling and swearing, first of all. But it also had, uh, I was watching a stream, which I totally forgot I was watching a stream. So I'm just muting all the game audio completely because it picks up me and that and the same audio track. So I can't really like separate them. And I don't want you guys hearing, you know, this other stream I'm watching. I don't even remember who I was watching. But yeah, you guys don't have game audio. You just have my voice here and maybe some music if I decided to put some on. We'll see how I feel when I'm editing this because it is double XP. And if you guys are doing like a hundred percent or you guys are just doing challenges, check out which ones you're close to. Even if you're not even doing challenges right now, go check out your challenges. There are a lot where if you go into the challenges and then say you click operations and say you go to humiliation, if you complete all of them in humiliation, you get the humiliation master and that'll give you 10,000 XP. So in humiliation, I only need one more thing and then I get the last one, which is 10,000 XP, which would be 20,000 during double XP. So if you guys are close to any challenges, be mindful of them. I've set myself up where I'm pretty close to a lot of them to the point where like, I'll probably go from 80%, 100% or to 90 almost, or at least like, I don't know, 80 to 85 because that is a big jump. Pretty much I have set myself up to get a lot of these challenges right when double XP drops or, you know, soon during double XP and throughout double XP because some of them are a little far away, but they're still like within grasping distance. So during this double XP guys, do not compromise your, your normal XP game by like doing stuff like this. Like say you want a thousand XP for knuckle, whatever the, the challenge I'm hating that I'm talking guys about. Say that gives you a thousand XP. I don't remember how much it gives you. So say it gives you a thousand. Do not sacrifice multiple games for that 1000 XP challenge during double XP because you're losing like, sure, you get a thousand and then that'll be 2000, but you're losing like probably 50,000 XP in the time it's going to take you to do this and you get like no XP those games. So be smart about which challenges they're going to do during double XP. I'm only doing ones I'm either close to or that I can do like on the side, like I'm close to get 500 uh, EKIA on enemies detected by tracker. Uh, I'm 12 away and it's like that's literally tracker kills you just put on tracker that's it you get kills and you'll you'll just get them like on the challenge just like that like it's, it's that simple so if there are ones like perks and stuff you guys are close to use the perk ones change up your perks just for double xp just until you get the challenges done because there's no reason not to and it won't really mess up your gameplay that much when you start changing your whole classes it makes a difference and it might like you know knock your gameplay down a bit but when you're switching from dead silence to tracker is it really that much of a difference i don't even remember if tracker is the third perk or not but definitely do some of these challenges guys i'm gonna do some update videos on different 100 percent or challenges i do because a lot of them are rage inducing to the point where it's like I, I need to explain why i hate this so much to everyone so this one specifically was just i chase kills and if you chase kills and you're doing this you're gonna die a million times over so that's kind of my experience with this knuckle one if you guys have any better Better tips leave them in the comments down below for the people that are still doing this challenge because I didn't really look up any tips and it gave me a lot of trouble. I just need something to do in this game, honestly. I was getting pretty bored, you know, just using Maddox in Hardpoint. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do some challenges and stuff. I was, was watching a stream and they were doing it. And I'm like, that seems like a good idea. So I'm going for 100%er. Let me know if you guys are as well. Like, let me know your progress, what challenges you've had a hard time with or which ones you find like 
really rewarding for like gave you a bunch of XP for doing basically nothing. So there's quite a few. And if you guys leave them in the comments down below, that'll definitely help some people out. Like I said, for me, it's like the perk ones like tracker or, you know, blowing stuff up with a launcher. There's a lot of easy ones you can get there. Or using certain like operator mods and stuff. Definitely good ones there too. My main advice though throughout this video, guys, is pretty much with double XP like approaching or during, at the time you're watching this, if you're watching it right when I post it, it's double XP right now. So check the challenges you're close to. Do a few of them if you guys can. Try to get them. I'm going to keep going through challenges throughout Devil XP. But like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to do them. It's going to be like classes that aren't too terrible but can get me several challenges and i'm hoping to get quite a few levels currently i'm level 400 and no nope. currently i'm level 345 and my goal for the end of double xp is level 400 so i i think i'll hit it no problem honestly i don't think it's actually that hard it'll be 20 levels a day saturday and sunday and then 15 throughout today and monday which really shouldn't be a problem at all like today and monday today i need 15 levels and saturday i need 20 sunday i need 20 so i don't think it's going to be too difficult for me personally i'm going to be playing like literally constantly so let me know your guys' plans for double XP, what you guys are doing, what you guys are hoping to achieve by the end of this. Maybe you're hoping to prestige for the first time if you're new, or you're just hoping to get a prestige or two, just grinding, or if you're planning to hit master prestige or 10th prestige, or if you're trying to get 100 levels, do let me know. I always look forward to hearing you guys' uh, plans, thoughts, opinions, and everything down below. Also, on Twitter and Instagram, I just, they are in the description. It's a good way to stay up to date with me and, you know, talk to me if you guys would like to. And check out my Twitch in the description as well as streams will start in January where you get to see me live raging about these challenges. But that is all for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys had any ideas of what you guys want to see covered or what videos you guys do want to see, leave them in the comments down below, again, or on Twitter and Instagram, as mentioned before. But without further ado, guys, I am signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. This has been TL13 with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Same. Peace. Man.